Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gates 3 Designs and I am back with another episode. Now here we're going to be uh, working in Revit 2019. Um, we're going to go ahead and create this uh, A-frame with the deck. Um, this is something I saw on Instagram actually. It inspired me and I wanted to recreate it. Um, so you have your you have your A-frame here and it kind of does this. It goes up here, comes down, and then slopes back up with the timber. And these timbers are holding up this deck. I thought it was really cool. Well, port wraparound porch. Um, I thought it was really cool. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and recreate this and and rev it. If you're familiar with my SketchUp the render tutorials, um, eventually this will be rendered um, in SketchUp. So. Uh, stay tuned for that, but to create all of those models, I use Revit 2019. Um, so I figured um, I wanted to start doing, you know, both Revit and SketchUp the Render uh, tutorials and videos because I use those both or all three of those every single day, you know, for work. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we're going to start fresh. So I like to start with the architectural template. Um, let's go ahead and click that there. Alright, so we got our blank page here. So let's go ahead and let's just pick a generic wall. Um, we'll go five, five inches. And I think I made that 30, like 31 by 21. There's no reason why I chose those numbers it was just you know off the cuff um, it might have been 33 let's just bump it up a little bit it was like more narrow yeah that, that's about right so uh, we create our walls here on level one um, and I like to make sure sometimes if you create a wall you click it and it will say like 20 feet or something you just want to make sure that you know everything's right so you click one wall you know okay you're at level one it's going up to level two so you're at like a 10 foot we'll probably lower that to eight feet and also you always want the exterior on the exterior um, even though we're using it generic walls eventually when I if I'm detailing this um, a lot of times I'll do it prior I'll set up the wall edit the type and create the actual wall in the actual picture but for this video um we're just going to go with generic but still it's just a habit for me to make sure this is always on the exterior where it belongs now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to roof uh, let's go up to level two so it's going to force you to go to level two but we're going to throw this on level one but let's uh Let's pick nine, but let's go ahead and, and duplicate and create a six inch thick. All right, that two is fine. We can just leave that there. Um, six inch. Actually, rename it. If say, let's say you already hit duplicate, but you decide, you know what, I want to name it something else. Just just go to rename. But I, I want to get rid of this too. All right. So we want a one foot overhang. So we're just gonna, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, select the pick pick walls, not pick lines, but pick walls. Um, I want it. I want a one foot overhang. Make sure that that dash line is on the outside, not the inside. And hovering over that wall, I'm gonna click tab. There we go. And we don't want any slope there. Here, I want a 12 12. And I might stretch it up a little more. Um, so we're going to go ahead and set it there, right? So let's go ahead and hit this. Now you're looking and saying, wow, that's not an A frame. What we'll do is we'll just drop this down to level one. Okay. And I don't like 
that slope. I want more of a slope. You could just drag it up. You know, you can measure it however you want, but let's just go ahead and give it a nice peak there. And we're going to select each wall and attach it to the roof. Now, I like to have glass on on each uh, end here and here. So what we can do is we can just select the entire wall, and you can just go into walls and select you know exterior glazing, curtain wall. Um, let's do a storefront. I, I like it to come with the mullions. There we go. So we get the mullions in there. So let's go ahead and add a, let's add some framing because we're going to do that whole framing where it's going to frame up this, this slope, frame down this slope and extend into the ground and it's going to come out in a V shape and that V shape, those timbers are going to hold up the, that end of the porch because it's designed to hang over a hill. And it gives a really, really nice aesthetic that I really like. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So for that, we'll go to uh, structure. We'll go ahead and set our plane by picking a plane. We're going to go ahead and tab there. All right, we're going to use a beam system. And I'm sure I do not have the wood saved. No, it's not saved in here. But uh, let's just go ahead and pick lines. Let's go ahead and select that. So it can be a little tricky sometimes. There we go. We want beam direction. That direction. We'll just do that, right? So it's giving us these beams, steel beams that we don't want. Um, at least I don't want those so we'll just select that entire beam system um, if you hover over you'll see those dash lines and let's just go into edit type oh I'm sorry let's just select the actual beam itself I was thinking of something else the beam itself edit type load um, we'll go to residential no get out of here let's go to structural framing let's go to wood and let's go with the, let's go with these big pine pieces here all right and what we're going to do is now select this and we can manipulate everything and let's make it to 5 by 11 so we can do it all at once oh this one didn't change Go ahead and fix this one. All right. All right, we're just going to do the same exact thing on this side. Let's go ahead and set that plane, pick a plane. Whoops. It's a little tricky. Sometimes you don't know if you keep my hand keeps slipping. I'm in a weird position doing this. All right. So we go to our structure. We go to our beam system. We're going to select that same line again. And beam direction here. And let's go ahead and select this one here. Boom. Now. Kind of poking out a bit we can edit the boundary let's see here let's set this to 27 yeah 27 is fine and we'll do the same for the other side edit boundary okay 
Okay. Now, with this one, we're going to go ahead and edit boundary again, and we're going to stretch it down a little bit. Let's uh, let's see. Eh, it's not a good view. Let's just stretch it like so. Maybe 36. All right. So what we're going to do now is go into level one and let's, let's put this on fine. All right. We're going to select, let's just hover and tab. We're going to copy this over like that. And let's go back to this view, front view. And let's grab this entire thing and let's just click it down here. Let's do it like something like that. You know, so now we have that V shape. And, um, and if you look, we really don't need it to be that tall. So let's just... Uh, Edit boundaries here. And let's bring this down a little bit, uh, about 13 feet. Okay. So we have this. And this is going to support our wraparound porch, um, and it's going to be exposed also. Let's go to level one, and let's just create a floor. So we'll go to floor here. Let's just select a wood finish, something with a wood finish. And let's get our wraparound porch like this. Have it come out about like that. Let's see, we can tighten it up a little bit. And you can you can make the dimensions whatever you want, but this is just a quick way of um showing you how to how to create this thing all right so let's go back to our 3d view all right so you can see it's really cool um you have this you know so help helping support this porch because this portion is going to be laying on top of grade whereas the grade will start to slope and you'll be able to see this nice structure holding up this end of the porch because it's not sitting on any grade but you got this nice support here but um yep so we got that go to level one and we can add some railing around it About 12 foot 6 12 foot 6 all right let's go back to our 3d view and look we have our nice a-frame sitting on a porch and it's being supported by these wood frames it's really really cool and um, I don't, I'm not sure if you guys have seen any of my other videos but I'll go ahead and let's add a, a door into this this uh, framing uh, this curtain wall they can be a little tricky sometimes but once you figure it out it's pretty simple um, so you want to make sure you hit the glazing and that's that's just me hovering over this and selecting tab and you just release that pin there and let's see if I have any no I don't have any loaded so you'll have to go to edit types load and let's go to um, Imperial let's go to doors and there should be a glass door yeah, wall single. You can do a double here. But let's just do a single glass door. Yeah, got our door. There you go. And oh, if you want to add like a uh, because what I'm what I like to do is I I add generic models in here, and when I get into SketchUp, I may manipulate it a bit. At least I manipulate it with it with a uh, texture to create a good rendering. But um, just 
just to get my location I'll just go to component model in place I select generic yeah you can name it if you want extrusion and I kind of want it to come inside a little bit and oh, let's just go ahead and do this one I'm just gonna bump out and I want the depth to be up high to have a nice chimney so I'll just do that finish let's go to 3d and it looks like that wasn't tall enough so let's go a little taller and you can just select it and stretch it up like that you know nice 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 So there you go. That's how you can create an A-frame with timber being used to help support the porch. And if you look at what I have saved, you know, I have my grade in there. You know, and add yourself some, some grade. And uh, I'll do a video on how to add topography and add grade and manipulate it. Um, in the beginning, it's it could be very very tricky um i wouldn't say frustrating it'll be it could be very tricky but once you get the hang of it you'll 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 love it but um you see how it sits here yeah so let's just look at the southern view you know you could see the timber here see the timber here let's go ahead and select fine there we go you know it's holding it up there so it's really nice i really like it so Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I hope it was very informative. Um, if you are interested in downloading this file, um, you could do so at gates3designs.net. Um, this file is uploaded on there. You can just go to that website and you can download it. Um, or you could follow the tutorial here and, and get, it, get it drawn up for yourself. Um, but uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be making many more. So uh, thanks for joining me and have a good day. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. I'd like to direct you to a website, gates3designs.net. So if you're interested in downloading any of the models I create in Revit, so I'm also uploading a lot of the Revit files that I use to create these models. So if you want to take a stab at learning Revit or using Revit, you can download those files here also.